It's actually my first time Ikemen's in that fight. Oh, well, yeah. congratulations. How have you been enjoying so far? It's been, it's been pretty nice. I haven't been at ESA in a long, long while, so right. it's been a great time. So here we have Lucina is my lover picking Corrin. Got, got I, I saw this happen at uh, Glitch this week as well, so it's not new, but Vaughn has seen the light. He's saying, you know what? Corrin's got the stuff. This hoe ain't loyal, man. And, yeah, and he's easier to prove it. He chose a different path, you know? <laughs> there were three to choose from. One is Lucina, one is Corrin, and I guess we'll find out what the last one is later. But in any case, we got Infamous rocking the Captain Falcon. I think he was playing on stream a little bit earlier today, yeah, too, he, wasn't he? Yeah, he played against Batu and he won. Yeah, that's what uh, Mario was just telling me. I heard there were a lot of two-frame dares. <laughs> but it was. It's a lot harder to get something like that on a character with a hitbox, but we'll see. So far, they're doing a great job just holding down neutral. Oh no, Infamous's Falcon is very bursty. One thing I really like about Infamous Falcon, yeah, the up B <laughs> right next to the ground. <laughs> it makes you feel like he's got a Bowser command grab. It's not going to matter though, eating those wings off stage. So the thing about Corrin is that she controls a lot of space with her neutral air, and she's got a. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that was. He was. Yeah, he was. He was trying to go for it. I. You think so? I think he was. <laughs> You know what? I respect it. That's uh, it's not an SDA anymore. That was just a, a failed play. Can't catch them all out. Ooh, and nice extensions on the platform and oh, the up B. Corn strings are always interesting to me. Like even in Smash Four, I thought like 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 that string. I always like singing like that because like you can also do that in Smash Four. Yeah, especially with the combo extensions that are possible on these platforms. A lot of characters like oh, he's trying to shield poke, but if it's not gonna have it. He's gonna play Smash again. Stay corrected. Doesn't work the first time. Work, do it again. Captain Falcon's got a, a big frame. He had to get in for that grab. It was a little bit too telegraphed, and we see as my lover was ready to capitalize. And Kinnis going for the grounded um, up B again. Nice rapid jab for space. 36% on Infamous. Not a lot, but the damage is racking up very quickly. And I like how uh, Lucina's my lover is covering these platforms with the aerials. Really not giving Infamous a place to land. Yeah. But Infamous is so explosive once he gets going. As you're going for that two-frame, that would have been game. That up there oh, sorry, he's got a two lot stops. of the platform, too. I'm sure. Actually, covers all of it. <laughs> covers a lot. Those are big boots. And uh, is that going to kill? That was an anticlimactic critical finish. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably, this probably saw like the, I think it might be a spike hit once or something, and they were like, okay, well, he's dead. Yeah, he got the spike, and then he just kind of got taken along for the rest of the ride. Yeah. He Channeling got... his inner Mars right there. Just, my opponent is recovering. Got an extra stock. <laughs> Why not down air? Risk it for the biscuit. Is it even a risk? Not really. He still had another one. It was it's last Falcon's stock. recovery. <laughs> Falcon's recovery is pretty linear, but there's also a lot of ways that the better Falcons can maneuver around it. They kind of weave to the ledge. They don't snap immediately. Yeah. We see that a lot from Infamous tonight, too. So just running back immediately. I don't know. What do you think about this stage pick? Um, I think it would be better for uh, Corrin because, like, Corrin just co can cover bad landings with, like, you know, her up air or her nair. As you can see, Vaughn is literally just, you know, up air hanging under the platform and it, you know, is covering. Yeah, well, I think Infamous really needs to get down to the ground. He hasn't been able to get these long extensions going, but as I say it, and that's the thing about Corn in this matchup, is that if those strings are not true, and Infamous is a little bit too close, that Nair is just going to slice him out of it. Ooh, going for the two frame. Forward, forward smash hitting. And that forward smash is doing a lot of work this game. I feel like Infamous is mostly getting juggled side to side. Ooh. But we've seen him come back from worse. Gets the grab. And the read on the platform, not quite enough to kill. He's up smash being a really good ranged move, too. That up is a little bit stale. Ooh, and that was not even close. But <laughs> I respect the attempt. He was, he was going at, for it again. He was at 150. That's a good trade. If you can get it. Oh. He waits it out. Gets the combo, but a little bit too far away. Yeah, and like you are saying, Lucien's my lover just... Happy to be underneath these platforms. They they do Vaughn very good. Yeah, but maybe a flat stage wouldn't have been too much better. Yeah, I pro I'd probably go against like maybe Town. Oh, and just kind of runs in, wanted to see what it was. Goes for the Nair. What's going to be 
tries to intercept the recovery. Chasing her down. He's trying to two-frame. Oh, and he gets that Jerry that he's been fishing for all game. Of course, uh, Korn just got to hold it. Now, we're not going to see any risky dares from Vaughn. Yeah, there's like, there's no, in that situation and you have to recover, you know you're not going <laughs> to get back to stage. Ooh. And he, that was a good, that was like, last time he did that, like, from Shield, he had like a whole entire stage to avoid, but Matt, shot this time he just couldn't. And nice extension. Oh! He recovered too high and he ticked! But the stage saves him. Dang. Not that time. Second there immediately. He was covering. That was a great play by him. He's covering uh, literally every option. Yeah, yeah but as I was saying before, when Corrin's recovering a certain way, Falcon just kind of hovering off stage, gets a spike, you have to hold that elf. Like, yeah. you know that stock is gone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you either just come to realization or you just, just pray that he's going to whiff. Yeah, please. I mean, Corrin can mix it up a little bit, but for the most part, the trajectory is pretty linear. Yeah. And right back into it. Let's see. I'm not surprised we're not seeing Lucy, and I know that Lucy is my lover has been going more Corrin recently. Yeah, I think this is a good pick. Actually, for both characters. It gives both Captain Falcon wall. Oh, sorry. It gives Captain Falcon walls, and then the platforms help them recover high. Yeah. Oh yeah, both of them recover um, from like both ends. Like um, horns, horns can can still like you know hang out to the wall, so it can give like a good stall time. Handle edge, trying to intercept. Scary situation. Tries to cover high, but Infamous weaving right back to stage. Dash attack and waits. Goes for the read, but doesn't quite hit. What about dash attack again? Not all the dash attacks like go through shields and and the SDI. Oh no! I thought I would let it go after a while. I think he was afraid of letting it go and taking a bigger punish, but forward smash still killing. Yeah, it's weird. It's not the forward smash tip that's taking these. It's it's, it's the multi hit. The grinder, yeah, of that chainsaw blade. Ooh, nice snare. Baited out the air dodge, there's really nothing she could do to get back in that point. Stocks are even. Oh. Just barely missing that nair. Letting Lucy use my lever get back to stage. And these nairs are just breaking these combos. Oh my god, the close up with Dare into um, Raptor Boost. Even percent, the Falcon Kick comes out. I saw a forward punch. Sorry, poor smash. <laughs> it is a punch. It is a punch. All right, what's going to be? He can only hold this for so long. He doesn't want to break his shield. That was a great shield poke. I think this is a situation where people don't really know what to do. We get out. But there is a rule. I don't know if it applies to that move or not. But after 10 hits, you can roll without any hits done. But usually it only applies to grabs. Oh, sorry. Applies to jabs. I don't know if that's the case for something like Korn's Force Smash. Or not. <laughs> and <Ooh. laughs> Vaughn's taking that game. You know, He's it, going for it because he got the stock advantage. You know, at first, I thought it was a fluke. You know that he DSD, but by the 